Let's Play! Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tekken 7. We beat the main story last time, and now we're taking a look at some character stories. I think we'll be able to do more than one in a video, I feel like they're probably really short. We're gonna start with Fang. I don't know anything about Fang, other than people did tell me that he is a, a an older character, not a new one. I know nothing. None about him. Never even heard of him before. He's not in, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, so... I never, I never witnessed him as a, okay, uh, Fang Wei is always a bad about what was written on the God Fist scroll to feed all other, okay. To become the Dragon God, you know what, that's a solid, that's solid. Fang returned to his childhood training ground, which is in the volcano, to continue his intense training regime. Then one day, an unexpected visitor, mysterious man, oh, we're just gonna beat up Akuma? When the man made it clear that the, his desire was to fight, Fang had no reason to refuse. He accepted his opponent's challenge and silence prepared to battle. Let's begin the battle. Oh no, we're we're actually up here. Okay. Oh no, it's law. Fight. Okay, so let's let's see how Fung Fung plays. Let's see what sort of moves he has. Is he a kick guy? Oh, that's a kick. Ooh, he has some good kicks. I like him a lot. That's good. I like that. That feels good. The back kick going into it. I like that. Oh man, all the Wattas are great. Ooh, that's good. I like that sweep too. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that's cool. That looks like a that looks like a SNK move. Like just just in how it looks, you know. SNK moves have a definite air to them. There we go. The Fong Fong Fang's pretty good. I like the chains that are dangling too. Well, we do get cutscenes, that's good. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, the one inch punch, that's so hype! Just, are they just not gonna talk? What is that? What is that anime garbage? I love it. Are they just not gonna talk? They're just fighting? That's cool. I'm down with that. Alright. Okay. Is that it? Is there more? Yep. Okay, well, huh. Now we're gonna check out Law. Please don't just be the other side of the story. I don't like when they do that. Wait, can he actually fight with Nunchuck? That's actually pretty cool if you can. Preoccupied with paying off his son's debts, that's forest law, correct? Yeah. Martial law didn't realize how many of his students had quit his dojo until it was almost too late. With a large sum still to repay, Law was running out of ideas. As the last resort, he decided to search for a capable fighter to run the dojo. Yes, his friend Paul- oh, Alright, they are friends. They were, um, partners in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yes, his friend Paul, if he knew anyone, and in his usual manner, Paul said himself he would be the perfect candidate. However, thinking that the dojo would go bust in half a day if Paul took control, Law politely refused. I said he put the word out that if any strong fighters want to try for the job, they should come and prove their skills. Challenger after challenger appeared, but none of them were good enough for Law. Then one day, Law heard, um, oh, is this, are we now fighting, Fa oh yeah, we're just fighting Fong then, on the, or Fang, I don't know, yeah, we're just doing a mirror match. Okay. Oh, he speaks English, that's surprising. Fight. I mean, mind you, okay, that's a combo. Okay. I, I bet you it's gonna be a lot of them are gonna be just just see it from one side and the other side. That's okay. Not the best, but it's fine. I want to do the one inch punch. Is is it is that is that just a uh, evade? I don't know. Let's see his critical art. What's it gonna be? God, he is just Bruce Lee. Like, it's... It's to a point where it's like... Like, it's almost comedic how Bruce Lee he is. I mean... It's not like... Like, every game kind of has a Bruce Lee clone. It's amazing the legacy Bruce Lee has left, you know? There's actually a really good Bruce Lee, like, action figure from Figma. It actually looks so good. It's actually surprising, like, how good quality it looks. Wow, okay! That's, that's some good combo. Good combo. We're just gonna see the same scene again. 
Oh no! <gasps> it's your boy! Paul Nareff! Oh my god, please tell me that that's actually why he- why he's like that. We actually can do two on- two- no, I don't think the game has a structure for it. Uh-oh. What do you- what are those rings? That doesn't seem like something that can actually happen. Okay, mind you, Paul's setting his fists on fire, so it's not too insane. Oh, look at the buds. They're growing off together. Wait. Why does he have the aura of darkness? Are they just gonna run? Yeah! I like these guys. I like them. That's cute. That's great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, now we're gonna check out what, what, what are you up to, Bob? Bobberino. I hope you're ready. I am ready for you, Bob. Actually, I went to a con once, and there's this dude cosplaying as Bob, and it was so perfect. Like, he was great. Bob entered the King of the Iron Fist tournament to prove he was the strongest in the world. On his way to the match, the rope before him exploded, blocking his way. The smoke could reveal a lone man emanating an evil aura. Bob had no idea what was happening, but his instinct told him that this guy was somehow connected to the destruction around him. Bob's sense of justice stirred inside of him and vowed the laws might defeat the man before him. Res red mist fell over his eyes. Bob forgot about being in a hurry and walked toward his opponent. Who's it gonna be? Let's see here. It's all or nothing. Round one. Oh, it's Brian. Fight. Oh, I bet you we're gonna see why the world exploded when, when we pick up Brian. I could probably do these fights on hard mode. Look at that juggle. You know what, though, just to be honest, the fact that we got Bob and Rufus in a game together at least once is like, that's good enough. We've, we've, we've committed, we're good. Though Bob is a much better fighter than Rufus. And, but then again, there's also Slim Bob, who's uh, in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, who's like such a hilarious character choice. I actually kind of like it. And it's still the same moves too, which is like kind of, well, kind of, they're, they're modified. Okay, let's see what's his. Okay, that's that's pretty dope. Oh, belly! Oh, that is so powerful. That's good. Just the pelvic thrust of justice. Oh my god. You broke his back. He's dead now. Wow, this is a marked change of uh, of atmosphere from the from Bob from. Never made it to the tournament. <laughs> What's with the British narrator? Okay, that sure was something. That's great. I like that. Okay, now we're on to see Brian. What are you up to, man? <laughs> Just having a having a good a good laugh. Brian Fury is a dab hand. It's just you know, there's there's the 2017 reference. Um, at making enemies when you travel the world, picking fights is not exactly a surprise. So when Brian appeared in War Torn City, he took the opportunity to go on an indiscriminate rampage. When the world uh, turned upside down by the constant fighting, Brian was in his element. So when a rotun, okay, so he just decided, hey, I'm just gonna destroy the world while I'm here. Round and then Bob's one. like. No. Okay, so let's let's see let's see how he's how he fights. We have the grenades on our belt. I wonder if we can actually use them. Okay, stop that. So let's see here. Okay, let's see what's his super art. It's gonna be a just, just a big big thing. Okay, well, I lost. That sucks. Let's try that again. I don't know if I like how Brian plays. I think I just need to find the sort of way to play as him. Those low hits. Gotta be careful. Okay, 
Okay, okay, will this, will this get him? Let's see here, is it enough? I don't think so. Oh, it is, nice. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's do this. All, all the fish in a basket, let's go. That's a cool attack, I like that one. Oh, that's a throw. I thought I was throwing him. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Damn it! Well, we're gonna need to try that again. Hey! Don't, don't just leapfrog over me after you've won. That ain't fair. Okay, so, let's go. Fight. Bob, surprisingly tough. Actually, I've because I've been playing a lot of treasure battles, so I've been you know fighting fighting the opponents and stuff in it. And some of them are actually like like some like a lot of them like Bob is pretty pretty tough. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, yeah, there we go. It's not gonna kill him. There's no way, but it'll do good damage. So I think the more damage you have. The more, um, okay, that's not good. The more your rage art will do. Because it feels like, it definitely feels like that. God, Bob is the true SNK boss of this game. Wow, wow, Bob, you're super beefy. That's really, that's surprising. What did I say about me being probably able to beat this on a <laughs> on a, on meat on hard? Okay, so oh, that's cool. Okay, let's not get greedy. Let's not get greedy. Good, good. That's good. Gotta use those diagonals. Remember that, that they exist. Also remember to hit low and guard low. Smack your head. Oh, he threw me. The fact that that doesn't put me in a knockdown actually makes me kind of like that as a throw. Getting hit by it at least. Okay, let's go. Come on, don't whiff, don't whiff. There we go. I think we might have won. There we go, nice. We did it. You win. So what happens on the other end of this? Oh, it's a fighter plane. Is he going to jump onto it and do something? To oh. Okay, what is this bayonetta garbage? What is this garbage? That's so dumb. <laughs> Look at his smile though, he's so happy. <laughs> and he's laughing, he's having a good time. Well, Brian Fury, you truly are the Brian Fury. Okay, let's just clear out this page, we'll have time. Okay, Huarong, what's up with you? Oh, so this, this is the costume I like for him. Haurong sees uh, one man his rival, Jin Kazama. Jin, CEO of the Mishima Zaibatsu, declared war against the world. And in ensued turmoil, has vanished suddenly without a trace. Uh, suspecting there's more Jin's experience in BCI, Haurong vowed to track him down. With only a short of reliable information, he heads to the Middle East. After series dead ends, Haurong heard word. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing his name super wrong every single time. Though a second thought, he got on his motorcycle and hammered down there. When he raked in, the place had been deserted, save for Jin Kazama in his devil form. So we're going to fight Devil Jin because he's just our rival. <laughs> Round one. Okay. Fight. I'm, I know, I, I just remembered, I shouldn't be using punches with him. He's a kickman. He's all about them kicks. He's kind of like jury in that regard. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a good launcher. Let's see, let's see here. Oh, that's good. Kick combo. 
The rage arts, some of them are definitely a lot less interesting. They're just, you know, big combos, but like, still pretty good. Of course, you got people like Devil Jin who just have like crazy sort of like laser stuff that you can, you know, sort of do. It's like, yeah, theirs are going to be a little more nuts. I do love Devil Jin's red gloves. I think they're super dope looking in the fact that they're, oh wow, uh, they're kind of edgy. But, uh, okay, let's not lose though. I said let's not lose though. That looks painful. See here, let's not get cocky. It's gonna be rocky. There you go. That is that dude kicks so high. The, the his crotch must be just eviscerated at all times. Kick kick the grenade away. Kick the grenade away. Wait, is that it? Okay, no. Okay, so this must have happened before Lars steals him? Wait, is this how he lost his eye? Oh, that's why he has the eye patch. Okay. That's kind of nice that they explained that. I was wondering. Okay, cool. And finally, Devil Jin, who... We just fought, but, uh, gotta see how he goes. As he, after he defeated Azazel, uh, Jin Kazama was apprehended by UN troops. As his unconscious body was being transported by helicopter, he became possessed, possessed by his own form, ripped free from his- Oh, he was in a straight jacket. Okay, I thought that was just his clothes. Tore through the helicopter's fuselage with a powerful beam attack and escaped. Uh, intermittently feeding off the UN's attempt to recapture him, Devil Jin wandered the desert as he stumbled across a town in the Middle East. His arrival at the town's bazaar sent the civilians fleeing for their lives, turning the once buzzing settlement into an abandoned husk. That is until certain someone showed his face. Alright, let's be the edgelord. Round one. Let's see, can I do the, uh, the jump flight thing? Oh, I can do the laser up! That's dope. Can I launch into laser? I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, we, we got we got that kick. So I think out of all the Tekken characters, the one I have the most experience with is Devil Jin, because I did play him in uh, in Soul Calibur. I didn't even realize that I got hit there. Let's try that again. Oh, that was cool. I don't know what that is. Something. Need to grab. Okay. It seems sometimes the second fights are sometimes the, the harder ones, you know? Let's go. Come on, don't miss this time. There we go. It's not going to win, but it'll be close. We did it. Just just barely. Final round. Okay. Fight. Okay, so just gotta try to do some more more good combo. Okay, how do I just do the regular laser? That's what I'm wondering. Um let's see here. Eight nine three P knee kick. That is a horrible name. Okay, so it's it's up and double punch for the regular one, but I want to see what. Uh, let's see here, wow, he has lots. Oh, laser cannon! Oh my god! So it's like left, right. Oh my god! Left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Let's see here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. There's like no way I'm gonna be able to hit that. Okay, let's see if we can hit him. Let's go! Yeah, there we go. 
That's a tough motion. Left rights are weird because you move at the same time, and I, I mean I get it, but uh, you win. okay, we we can crawl. Forgot about that. So is he gonna still lose his eye in this one? Oh, it's gonna be the exact same, but he just survived this time. I wonder which of them are canon then. Oh, he saved me. That's a big surprise. I guess they're both, like, canon in the way that, like, still the same outcome pretty much. Just minor variants. Except this time he flies away. Oh, but he, and he shoots the laser still. Okay. Okay. I see. Sounds good. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, next time we're going to move on to the second set of character stories. Check out some of the girls. And Claudio. And Gigas. See you then. Ciao. You can